Welcome back to the channel. This is Radio Guy. Today we are going to be reviewing the MD UV390 made by TYT. This is a great handheld transceiver, does UHF and VHF. The radio that I'm reviewing today was purchased off of eBay for about $109. It is the plus model. My understanding is there's a USA version which covers 150 megahertz to 174 megahertz and 450 to 480 megahertz. EU version is 144 to 146, 430 to 440 megahertz. Then there's the plus model, and that's what we're reviewing today, which is 136 to 174 and 400 to 480. This is a waterproof IP67 rated radio, waterproof up to one meter deep for 30 minutes. TYT does a great job packaging their radios. I've never had a damaged product come in yet. This is a flyer that explains the IP67 rating and what that means. Manual here, you flip through it. This is a specifications page. I'm gonna remove the plastic wrapper here. There is an external plastic wrapper and a screen protector that comes on the radio. You have the function A, function B, and the push to talk button. The back battery is quite large compared to other radios. I'm gonna remove the screw here that allows you to see the speaker mic connection, also the programming port for the radio. It's compatible with Baofeng, Kenwood, and Anytone products. Battery clip, nice and industrial, does not protrude past the bottom of the battery pack, nice and flat. Pull down on the lever, releases the battery. You notice in the upper right hand corner that orange sticker says the plus model. Very simple to put the battery pack back on. You can see the thickness there, how thick that battery is. Going to put the antenna on the radio. Looks like an SMA female connector for the antenna. I'm going to screw it on. You never want to power on your radio without the antenna on. Nice full color display on the radio. We have the programming software that comes with the radio. Power adapter, belt clip. And the charging station and the docking port for the radio. You get the power adapter, plug it into the back of the docking port. And the radio just slides right in. It's important to have the radio pushed all the way to the rear of the docking port so it holds it firmly against the charging buttons. This radio is nice, comes with a programming cable. You don't need to order that separately. We're going to compare the Anytone radio to the MD680 radio that I did another review on. If you'd like to look that up, you're welcome to do so. And the Anytone radio. So we have the 390, the 680, and the Anytone radio. They're all about the same size. You can see there from the thickness of the battery pack on the TYT390 radio, it is a thicker radio. I'm going to cover just a little bit about how to download the software, do a, a Google search or a search for TYT radio. Uses the first option there. You click on that, open up the main TYT website. And up in the right hand corner, you're going to go to downloads. And click on that. And now you're going to have every model that TYT makes and currently supports, and you need to go through the list, scrolling through, and what you're doing is you're looking for that model number, the MDUV390. That's what you want to find. All right, we're almost there. 
and you're going to see it appear in the right hand column and what I'm going to do is get my cursor and circle that for you so everyone can follow along there. There it is. So after you click on that, it automatically starts to download it to your computer. And it's going to open it up in a zip file. So what you're going to do is extract that, double click on it, it takes you through the loading process. Click finish and you're good to go. You should have a icon on your desktop. It makes it easy to access the programming software. Please keep a lookout for our next videos. We're going to be taking you through step-by-step -step how to program your radio and the menu functions, how to operate the keypad. So stay tuned. More videos will follow. This is Radio Guy saying 73. We'll see you on the next one.